Hi lovelies, how are you today? In my kitchen today, I made this yummy Nigerian jollof rice and chicken. And because this tasted extra yummy compared to the ones I have cooked in the past, I have decided to share my recipe and what makes this stand out. So, after grilling my chicken using this pot, I can't remember the last time I actually fried chicken or fish. I always grill to extract some um, oil from the proteins and I use the oil to cook, which had some um, extra taste to the food. So um, I usually don't wash my pot except I don't get oil from uh, whatever I grilled inside but for this particular one I had oil left from the chicken so I just added um, a little bit of uh, vegetable oil because I am cooking more cups of rice today that we can eat at least twice I didn't put onions at the beginning because I had put more than enough in my pepper mix and I intend to put some when the food is done cooking after the oil is hot enough, I added my tomato paste and fried for some minutes. Before adding my mixed pepper, I added bay leaves, curry and thyme. After that, I added my pepper mix which contains uh, plum tomatoes, sweet long pepper, scotch bonnet and onions. I had initially grilled the pepper in the oven before grinding them together with my new blender, not butchy mix. <laughs> I don't have a butchy mix blender. <laughs> After that, I allowed um, I allowed it to cook well for about fifteen minutes and left it overnight. The food was meant to be our lunch for the following day, so I only got my stew ready in order to save me time the following morning. In the morning, I just um, added my rice this time around. I have washed the rice uh, with warm water and I added it, I added the washed rice to this uh, stew and I reduced um, my pot temperature to 140 degrees and I covered it up. By the time I'll come back for lunch, by the, I mean, by the time I'll come back to to pack lunch for everyone by the time uh we all are uh, settled to have our breakfast the rice was almost ready and i just gave it a one time turnover i added my sliced onions and covered for last minute cooking so it was timed already usually once i have put my rice i just time it for 30 minutes and in most cases, it doesn't spend up to 30 minutes, depending on the quantity, depending on, um, yeah, depending on the quantity, because the more the quantity, the more water I will add, and the more it will stay long before the water dried up. Believe me, this rice was so sweet and delicious that even my 16 month old that usually closed his mouth <laughs> to peppered rice was asking for more. And... That was how I served everyone with love and I got plenty of thumbs up and kisses from every members of my family with this my over the moon sweet jollof rice. I must admit this tastes differently. It really tastes differently and you should give it a trial. I am a confident jollof rice cooker now. <laughs> No, not cooker. I am a confident jollof rice chef now. Like, I am not scared to cook jollof rice for a large number of people because now I have my recipe. Oh, I forgot to mention, I actually added uh, my, what's it called? I added some chicken broth because I divided my chicken into two. So I grilled some in this pot and then I, I boiled some in the pot so the water from the chicken both i added that to this uh to this mixture to this soup this stew that is cooking i added my my no seasoning i added salt and that was it so that was before um i added my rice the following day 
So thank you for listening. Will you be trying this out? Is there anything I should have done differently? Please tell me in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, what am I going to cook next? Tell me, what do you, what would you like me to cook next? <laughs> please don't tell me something that will scare the hell out of me okay but jollof rice i can close my eyes now and cook it even in my dream i'll see you next time bye bye